Good day. I'm Captain Nuru Rahman, an international maritime consultant and a member of the Worldwide Ferry Safety Association's board. Dear viewers, risks to the safety of passenger ferries are of global concern given both the broad geographical spread of accidents and the potential for large scale loss of lives. The Lawrence Register Foundation in its Insight Report, Safety in the Ferry Industry, which is published in May 2018, states that from 2002 to 2016, there were 163 reported passenger ferry accidents, causing over 17,000 deaths. 25% of all passenger ferry accidents happened in Bangladesh. 16% in Indonesia, 11% in the Philippines, 6% in China, and 42% in the rest of the world. The Southeast Asian region has the worst fatality rates in the shipping industry. Based on these figures, and knowing that the trend of fatalities in the Southeast Asian region over the past few decades, the Lawrence Register Foundation has given a name to the three worst fatality countries. It's called the PIB countries. Now, between 1966 and 2017, the number of reported fatalities from ferry accidents in Bangladesh alone was 9,886, second only to the Philippines which accounted for 10,855 deaths. Whilst the Philippines have improved safety of passenger, domestic passenger ferries over the past decade or so by implementing strict measures, and Indonesia is trying to do what it can to make, minimize ferry casualties, my presentation today is to highlight the measures undertaken in Bangladesh to improve safety of its inland riverine passenger ferry system, thus being able to turn the tide of lives lost by eliminating accidents. I have arranged my presentation in the format illustrated on this slide, as you can see in front of you. Firstly, I wish to acquaint you, acquaint the viewers with Bangladesh. I shall speak a little bit on its terrain and its inland waterways transportation system on which a very high percentage of residents depend upon for their livelihood and transportation needs. I shall then outline some statistical data on the number of casualties in the past decade and compare these figures to those experienced in the recent past. I shall touch upon on the possible issue of the past and of the measures undertaken recently to minimize fatalities from passenger ferry mishaps. And finally, I shall share with you a success story achievable through coordinated efforts of all stakeholders. Ladies and gentlemen, Bangladesh is an extremely dense and overpopulated sovereign deltaic nation sandwiched between India in the west and north, Myanmar in the east, with its southern coast being washed by a stretch of the Bay of Bengal. Its major transportation work network is, is its waterways, which extend up to 25,000 kilometers and is the essential mode of travel and movement of goods for its 180 million people. While no one can religiously vow as to how many crafts are engaged in this activity day in and day out, the Department of Shipping's register shows almost 12,500 registered vessels, of which around 2,000 are classed as passenger ferries and launches. Earlier on, I cited the Lloyd's Register Foundation's data on fatalities, 
accountable to ferry accidents. The BMPVA database shows 9,920 reported fatalities or missing persons from ferry accidents in Bangladesh during the period between 1966 and 2015. What I want to share with you today is how these numbers have dramatically dropped between 2014 and 2018 within a span of only five years, as can be seen from the Bangladesh government statistics. Data sourced from the Bangladesh government's Department of Shipping records show that accident and fatalities in inland waterways of Bangladesh have dropped down dramatically during the period between 2014 and 2018 to only 201. I repeat, 201 deaths from the thousands lost each year prior to this period. Obviously, there must have been some magic wand or crucial measures undertaken to achieve this success. Let us see what some of these were. We are all aware from various researches in the past that the causes of maritime accidents are common to most ferry casualties around the world. These may be classified under the five categories, collision, overcrowding or overloading, inclement weather, fire and explosion, and grounding resulting in bottom damage. However, the essential commonality in all these five is human factors. Following a study and a two-year research, I have tried to summarize the reasons that may have contributed to poor safety of Bangladesh domestic or inland riverine ferries over the past years. And I've categorized these as four main issues. Number one, weaknesses in governance. There is a lack, there was a lack of a strong maritime administration to oversee inland waterways safety matters. There were more than one state agency looking after different aspects of governance, etc. Two, lack of monitoring, compliance and enforcement was apparent as different agencies had no clear areas of designated responsibility and necessary legislation to mandate their individual tasks. Number three, the entire administration had been under-resourced and often profit-hungry owners had a field day making money and caring less and less on safety of their vessels and commuters who travel on them. And finally, there was no adequate support from the government's treasury, nor from other stakeholders to run a safe and efficient waterways transportation system. However, from 2015 onwards, things began to change for the better, with reinvigorated political will of the government, and we will see how the ferry sector has been gaining ground ever since. With renewed political will, resulting in greater financial appropriation from government coffers, things started to change. The Department of Shipping, together with the Bangladesh Inland Water Transport Authority, or BIWTA, was revamped. Additional resources made available, including hiring of extra staff. The Bangladesh Inland Water Transport Corporation, or the BIWTC, was given status as the commercial authority for state-owned domestic vessels, including government passenger ferries. All these steps have put life back into training and education of ferry crew, as well as appointing more surveyors to review, assess, examine, and provide certification to the domestic ferry sector. In fact, to the domestic shipping sector. Having been armed with resource 
by uh, armed and resourced by the Bangladeshi government, the Department of Shipping analyzed past ferry casualties and have incorporated remedial measures to address this matter. In addition to strengthening and examination of, of design for new builds, monitoring compliance and enhancing training and skills development of ferry operators, another new enforcement concept was introduced. This was by conducting mobile or summary course to check for compliance and imposing on the spot fines for offenders. On a strategic level, measures were undertaken to improve safety and navigability of inland waterways. Further to safety checks and other measures which I had discussed earlier, navigability of inland waterways and channels were looked at. Deployment of aids to navigation, which includes bows, markers, etc., were fast tracked as was newer contracts awarded for dredging of rivers, which have seen continuous siltation, thus reducing depth. Consideration of traffic routing and deployment of AIS for limited use and weather report dissemination has been given much thought. Compulsory two-way radio communication like the VHF has been regulated on specified vessels. So in summary, the riverine transportation system is the lifeblood for movement of people and goods in Bangladesh. Private entrepreneurs dominate the inland water transport sector with almost 90% of passenger ferries owned and operated by the private sector. Apart from a few ferry landings, majority of the launch ghats in regional areas are also owned and managed by the private sector. The ongoing cooperation between all sectors and agencies is therefore vital to reduce ferry accidents. However, despite all such cooperative endeavors, Bangladesh is a developing nation and could do well with generous help from its development partners, especially in areas of technical support and capital acquisition. Finally, the good news is that with measures undertaken by all stakeholders under the leadership of the government's premier agency, the ministry and the department of shipping, Bangladesh has chronicled a success story. There has been only one major ferry incident in Bangladesh over the past four years, which is definitely a great turnaround. We commend Bangladesh in its efforts to enhance safety of transportation in its waterways. Let us all join together and help the country get over its tragic past and look into a safe future for its inland ferries or launches. Thank you.